happy people i'm back with another video and today i'm excited because i have another timu haul for you guys okay so i got some more items from timu and i want to showcase them to you guys show you what they looking like i'm sure everybody knows timu by now it's essentially if aliexpress and shein had a baby timu would have been born okay so let's hop into the goodies that i got um i am going to leave um all of my discount code information down in the description box below in case you guys want to check it out but yeah, let's see the goodies that I got. I got a pretty big package here. Got the Timu logo on it. It's pretty big, you guys. So I'm going to just slice it open here and show you what I got, okay? This is the first item I got here. And this is what I use to put my um, press-on nails in. Um, I have... Oh, I think I got the wrong size. Let's see. So this here is how I normally package my press-on nails. So I actually thought that I was getting a bigger bag of these. And it looks like I actually ended up getting the same size, which kind of sucks, but still works though, you know? Okay, so yeah, this is how they are. So these ones I actually got from Amazon, this first one here. And when I saw that Tebow carried it, I wanted to go ahead and grab them as well. I'm curious to see if my card will fit in here. well this gonna be my little sample bag here okay so this is my pre-made card that i have and yeah it fits it fits in here perfectly so okay so i at least have more nailers for my current press on cards okay but i actually was looking for something a little bit longer i have a, a, a client now who loves extra extra long press on nails and i was hoping to get like i was going to make my card bigger but then also have a bigger one of these to put it in but i got the the wrong size so that's okay at least i have more of the current ones anyway so yeah i picked these up i believe these came in a pack of i think these are 100 okay yeah so this came in a pack of 50 of these little mailers but these are also really good too if you guys have like a small business where you sell like knickknacks cuticle oils facial creams lotions hand creams all of that good stuff even if you sell charms and such and you want to have them in a nice um bag or even if you sell i've seen people put um i've seen people even do like treats and stuff in here like candies and snacks um all for like resale purposes though um and like i said they're also good for gifting purposes they come in a variety of different colors so yeah this is a very multi-use product you can use it for a variety of different things but i specifically bought it to house my press on nails again i do sell and make press on nails here locally where i live so just getting some new supplies for that i will say though i feel like the quality of these bags are pretty different um i feel like the one that i got off amazon is a better quality it's a little bit thicker and these are a little bit more thin and kind of flimsy because it tore but um you know if you're gentle and careful with them you can get some good use out of them okay next i got this item i don't even remember everything i got you guys oh yay okay so this here is actually i'm gonna zoom out a little bit here so this here is actually a um uh an extra light it's like a studio light and again i got it for the purposes of filming okay <laughs> but yeah this is how it looks here right and it um allows you to be able to give your items more lighting so when i'm taking pictures of like my products or um when i just want more lighting when i'm filming or even if i'm filming like a quick little um short video or reel um i can have additional lighting to be able to i can have additional lighting for it the next item that i got here is a bling box okay and let's take a look see i realized now i do have now, I do have a couple of bling boxes already, but I realized I didn't have one with all clear crystals. And what's nice is that it came with a wax pencil. That's pretty nice. Um, so here's the wax pencil that they included with the bling box. That's awesome. And then here's the box itself. Nice. Okay, so it came in one of these boxes instead of the one where you have the um, little slot for the nail pencil. But that is okay. Um, let's go ahead and pop this open here and see what we're looking like. I love that they all come individually packaged and they look like they got a pretty nice shine to them okay let's take them out and get a closer look here i'm gonna pour some of them in here just ooh, y'all these have a beautiful shine to them holy moly wow look at this these are absolutely gorgeous wow Okay, Timo, come through with the bling. This is really nice. I'm really impressed with the shine on these. Y'all see that? 
Very cool. Yeah, I wasn't really too sure what to expect from the bling from Timu, but her, uh, I'm thinking I like it here. This is a gorgeous bling box. Oh my gosh. I'm excited to put this to use. Wow. So yeah, it comes with a lot of different shapes and sizes. These here are some little diamond bows. These here are like the little teardrop sizes. This here is um, some trapezoids, rectangles, another teardrop kind of diamond. So yeah, um, I'm going to do another video where I go ahead and fill in my bling box. But I think this is awesome. I love the variety that comes in here. And I think this was only like 8 bucks, you guys. So well worth it for sure. Next here, I got some more um, pigments. So I did do a video showing you guys how to do chrome nails from a different um, from a different set of chromes that I got from Timo. I'm going to leave that video link down in the description box below but this, this here is some more different chrome powders. I'll make a follow up video to that and show you all how all these chrome powders look swashed out but this is really pretty. It comes with a silver, a gold, a red, a green, a blue, and a purple and I mainly wanted to have this uh, color palette for like the holidays like Christmas time, New Year's, etc. So I got these. I also got this really cute little leaf here. I thought this would be really Really cute for displaying nails. Let's see. Yeah, so I thought this would be really cute for displaying nails, or even if you wanted to take a photo with it, you know, you could. Just something to jazz up, you know, your nail, your nail space, nail photos, nail content, you know. Or if you wanted to, you can put a strip on her. This is something that I actually see Short Nail Life do on her channel, but you will take a piece of the double-sided tape and you can put your purse on nails on here and then you can just kind of display them that way. So I think that's a really cute idea that she does on her channel. So yeah, it's something I might play around with, like I said, for photos, just like a prop or whatnot. So it could also add aesthetic, right? If you're doing photos for products and stuff, this could add some aesthetics. So got this. Got this box here, don't even know what it is. Let's take a look, see here. Oh, my reading glasses, sweet. That's good they put these in a box. I actually wasn't sure how they were gonna send these, but these are really cool. So these are some blue light glasses that I picked up from Timu. And I've been eyeballing these for like ever, but they're really cute, look at these. I love them. So they're blue light glasses. I spend a lot of time on the computer, not only for work, but also for content creation, editing these videos. And I just wanted something that wasn't so harsh on my eyes. So I went ahead and got these as well. These are really cute and very stylish. So I'll definitely be getting a lot of use out of these. Next, I have this palette here. Oh, how cute is this? All right, so I have this palette here. And again, same deal, photo ops, right? And also for just press on nails. I like having, um, so this is my other uh, nail plate that I have and I absolutely love this. I use this to set my full cover tips or press on nails on when I'm getting ready to apply them and it's just something cute to hold them for me. So I thought it'd be cool to get another one. So now I have two of these. Um, and also another thing you might be able to use this for is for nail art. Um, like a nail art palette. I don't like using it for that mainly because um, the idea of when I wipe it clean and I know this is like small but I don't want gel polish and stuff to get stuck in the crevices over here so I actually don't use it because of that I end up just using my handy dandy <laughs> marble palette here and I just can wipe it all the way clean so nothing gets stuck in the corner but for that but for these I, f I have a fear that that might happen but honestly it probably will be okay but you can also use it for a nail art palette but isn't it just cute nice little vintage trim to it yeah I love it okay so I picked this up I also picked up um, this so this was supposed to be foil glue it says from iMethod Beauty I heard good things about it so I wanted to try it but on here it says iMethod Beauty base and no wipe top coat this isn't actually what I picked I picked the foil glue so maybe they just didn't have it okay look this is weird so on the back it says nail foil glue right it says nail foil glue so is this supposed to be foil glue I'm confused I don't know but on the front it says base and top coat so let's open this up and see I don't even know what's happening here so okay so then it says big salon top coat and base coat I'm confused or is it foil glue 
don't know, you guys. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, I'm not sure. It says it's a top coat, so maybe it's a top coat. Um, so I like the consistency of it though. It feels loose, but it has a medium viscosity. And let's look at the base coat here. It feels the same. It feels like it's the same product in both bottles. I'm having a feeling that maybe they did they um, maybe they put it in a random bottle <laughs> and then sent it, and maybe it's foil glue. So let's investigate okay i have these like random swatch sticks that i've used for previous videos i'm gonna just take the top coat here and i want to see is this actually foil glue or not so let me go ahead and apply this to the nail and then i'm going to go ahead and cure it and if it has a tacky layer to it then maybe it is the foil glue but they just put it in a weird bottle so let's see here Okay, so I'm going to cure this for 60 seconds, okay? So this has been cured for 60 seconds, and I'm curious if it has a sticky layer, so let's see. Nope, it doesn't. Ain't that a blip, y'all? It's just the top coat. Hey, they played me with this. <laughs> I'm so salty right now. <laughs> I really wanted to try out the iMethod Beauty foil glue. Wow, like I'm like super salty. Okay, well, that's that. I'm going to try uh, the base coat and see what's what I just I don't understand I don't understand <laughs> I don't understand like yeah yo what is this y'all child there's too much happening with this what is this do you guys see this now look, I don't know what this is, but it was in the bottle. Like, I don't, look, I don't know how I'm feeling right now, y'all. Let me just, okay. Let me cure this and see what is what, okay. Cure this, I'll be back. Okay, so this here was the base coat, and it is sticky. Um, I'm curious to know if it's going to, I feel like it's just a regular base coat, you guys, but I have some old, um, what are these old, like foil, I mean, old foils here that I've used in the past. And I just want to see if it, if it'll transfer at all, you know, so I'm going to take this one out and just see if it'll transfer. Maybe it is foil glue. Maybe it's not. Let's put it on here and let's just see what happens. Okay. Nope, this is definitely just base coat. Wow, very disappointing. <laughs> very disappointing. Well, that's that. Yeah, y'all, Timu has definitely played me on this one. Like, I don't really know what to think. So, this is a base coat, this is a top coat, and it says that it's from iMethod Beauty. On the back, it says that it's supposed to be the foil glue, but it's definitely not that. So, this was a miss. So, just be careful, I guess, when you're buying gel products on there. Just know that you might not get what you asked for i don't know this was really weird but yeah that's this product okay so the next thing that i got here is some it's another gel product now i'm a little nervous y'all but um this is flower fairy gel and it's from the brand meet across i've actually been wanting to try this for a really long time i've seen this on a couple of different websites but i wanted to give it a try it has dried flowers in a gel so i'm gonna go ahead and get this open really quick Okay, so yeah, this is what it looks like, and it just has some dried flowers in here. Now, the picture on the website, the background color was actually clear and not green. So, I don't know, but it is dried flowers in here, so that's nice. But it was supposed to be on a clear base, not a green base. Yeah, I don't know what's happening today. I'm just I think I'm strike I think I'm I think I'm striking out here with, with, with Timu today. I don't know what's happening. I am curious to know if this was on a white background, would it show up green? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test this out right now because what the heck? <laughs> what in the world you guys? Why is it green? I have just a random swatch stick that I had put some chrome on. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just um, get some of this and put it on the nail. And I hope that it comes out clear and not green. But yeah, that's what it looks like. 
and it's definitely green you guys what the world oh, I don't know how I'm feeling about this y'all I mean let's say this right I mean no this is a hard no for me I'm sorry I can't do it um I would expect for the base to be clear which is what it showed in the photo. I'm gonna leave a link. I'm gonna show you guys what the photo looked like. You can't do cute floral nails with this green base. I mean, that's just not cute. Wow. Not a fan of this product either. All right, you guys, um, I'm striking out here. That's the second one that I've tried I didn't like. The only way I think you can get this product to work is if you were putting this on a green background, which a lot of times when you're doing floral nails like this, you're putting it on like a lighter background, like a pink or a cream color or a white like I just did. No one's gonna want green looking nails like this. I mean, this just isn't hot. No, I'm not a fan. I'm gonna try it on this other swatch stick. This is what it looks like on a colored background and y'all I'm just not I'm not impressed with this product at all I'm gonna be completely honest with you this is what this looks like after it's being cured so it's weird it turned from like this greenish color to like this pinkish color and it's just this is still not something I will put on the nails like this is not the look I'm going for it goes from this beautiful bright white color to this mucky green now pinkish color I like the concept of these gels where the dried flowers are already in there but if there was a way for the base of the gel to still be clear I think that would be better but um, yeah another hard no for me you guys so I'm striking I'm striking out with this but this is the what is this this is the meet across flower fairy gel in the number 12 I can't say I'd recommend it all right, you guys, I'm hoping for some redemption with the rest of these products because, quite frankly, I'm not. <laughs> these last two gel products, I'm not impressed with from Timu at all, which is weird because the last time I hauled products from Timu, their gel products performed just fine and I like them. So I don't know. I think I'm just striking out on this round. So just be mindful. Some things might be a hit or miss on their website. But the next thing that I did get is these pigment powders and the cool thing about these is that these pigment powders actually glow in the dark so that's what made me want to try them but now I need to see if they actually glow in the dark I'm gonna put these underneath my nail light and see if they actually glow um what in the world <laughs> I do not see any glow effect you guys okay let's try this again let's try this again I'm gonna put it underneath my ring light and let's see if they glow <laughs> I am just striking out with Timu, you guys. I just, I don't understand. Um, yeah, this is a pooper for sure. Okay, now let's see. I'm going to let this go. Is there any glow? No glow at all whatsoever. Huh, okay. Well, huh. <sighs> that sucks. So yeah, these were definitely supposed to be glow-in-the-dark pigment powders. Um, maybe they just sent me the wrong ones, you guys. I don't know. I want to see on the back if it says anything about it glowing. It doesn't. So, yeah, it's just a pigment powder here. I mean, I guess something I might be able to do with these is, like, take a clear acrylic. And if I wanted to custom make my own acrylics, I could with these pigments. So, I mean, I'll find a use for them. They're good for um, ombre nails, um, giving airbrush nails effect. So, I mean, I'll find a use for them. But I really got them because I thought they glowed in the dark because I have other pigment powders already but uh, that's okay so I got these it comes in a pack of 12 okay all right next thing I got here is this reading light panel so I do read a lot of books um, and sometimes I read at night and don't want to have a huge lamp on projecting too much light into the room and so I got a little LED panel so let's see how this works okay is a battery required and let's see, it just has like a little on off switch here. So let's, let me go get a battery. Oh, it requires multiple batteries. Okay, let me go. It requires three AAA batteries. So I'll be right back, hold on. I got some rechargeable batteries here. I got these from Amazon. I'm actually gonna link these, link these in the description box below because these are actually really good. Um, and I buy rechargeable batteries for products that I know that I wanna use a lot, but don't wanna have to constantly keep paying for batteries for. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and put these in here. I think they're fully charged and it requires three of them. So here's the second one goes there. And then three here in the middle. 
Oh, cool. Yeah, and it's on now. Can you guys see the light? That's pretty cool. Okay. So let's see if I close this up. That's cool. And then it just has an on off button here. So that turns it off. This turns it back on. Let me remove the plastic. Oh, this is really cool. Okay, I'm liking this so far. And I have a book here. Um, I've been reading this book. It's called Small Habits, Big Changes. Um, and I'm all about like self-help, self-development, personal development and growth. And so this is the book that I'm currently reading. Um, if you guys are interested, it's by Stephen Handel. Um, tiniest, the Tiniest Steps to Lead a Happier, Healthier You. Right. So I've been reading this book and sometimes I'm reading it at night. Um, and I got my little nightstand light off, so I'm going to turn this off. I'm actually going to go ahead and turn off my big... Well, first you can get an idea of how bright the light is, so that's nice. This right here gives you an idea of how bright the light is. So say if it's pitch black in your room and you're wanting to read, um, you can have like a little panel here. And what you do is you just put it right over the page of the book, and then you can read at night. This is really cool. I like this. You just like, you know, you just, what I do is I'll, I'll probably put it in the end scene of my book and then just read like this. So you can still actually see everything here. So let's go here again. I'll stuff it into the seam of the book and then you have like a nice well lit area to be able to read your book at night. I like this a lot. This would be really cool for like traveling. And again, when I'm just, it's late at night and I just want to read a book and don't want all the bright lights. This is nice. I like this. Very cool. I didn't even know they had products like this. I think this is very, very nifty. I love this. Okay, very nice. This is very, very cool. So I picked this up from Timu. I'm just noticing on the box here, it says light the page, not the room. I kind of like that. That's exactly what it does. It's pretty cool. Let's see. Oh, okay, yeah. I picked up this um, book here. Let me see if I can zoom out some. So this here is to store all of my nails that I've designed. Um, I wanted to be able to store it inside of a book for easier access. So currently, this is how I have have all of my personal nails like displayed and stored um, which is nice but you know I'm not going to actually want to be able to create a display like this for every single set of nails um, so I just wanted to have like a little book where I could easily get to them so what's cool about this is that it comes with first it's this like clear binder here um, see I might have to zoom out a little bit more so you guys can fully see it here okay so this is the binder here right and then what you want to do is take this out and you'll insert these pages here so let's insert one for you so you can kind of get an idea of what I'm talking about and then you open it up like so and you put it on the three ring binder right I love that they went ahead and included the tape that you need for it as well so you just put a strip of tape on here and then after you put the strip of tape on here after you put the straight strip of tape on there then you can just put your set of press on nails on there right so you can do one looks like two so one two three four five six seven eight so you'll probably be able to get about 16 sets of nails per page and this comes with how many pages six pages yeah so you'll be able to get 48 sets of nails on here and if you do shorter nails like say if you do really short nails you'll probably be able to get even more especially if you put them all the way to the top straight down so um, at minimum you'd be able to get about 50 sets of nails on here so I think that's pretty cool and it's nice to have it um, nice and compact and you can just kind of store it away um, so yeah I thought this was pretty cool pretty nifty to get um, and it also comes with this little storage pouch here too so I don't know maybe if you want to store extra nails or some of your supplies matter of fact that is what I'm going to go ahead and put um, go ahead and put this, this tape in here so that I don't lose it and does the ruler fit? the ruler does not fit yeah the ruler doesn't fit in there but I'll go ahead and put that in the binder but yeah this is pretty cool you can put like the little nail stands like so these little nail stands here you can put that inside of here um, just have what you need to be able to put your strips of press on nails on here so I thought this was a pretty nifty item and again I just wanted a way to be able to store my press on nails okay all right y'all so I went ahead and finished putting this together off camera but this is what the book is looking like I like the size of this it's really big so you just snap it open and then you have all these little pages where you can kind of flip through 
and just put all your personal nails on. I was originally thinking that you might be able to add more pages in here so that you could fit more press-ons, but when I thought about it, once you put the press-on nails on each page, it's going to actually protrude out. And so honestly, just having a few pages in here is probably going to be enough because it's probably going to go ahead and make the book a lot thicker once you actually put the nails in here. But again, like I said, it's nice that they have a little ruler that's included and this little pouch. I just went ahead and put the, the double-sided tape in here that was included. Um, with this little kit but this is really nice really nifty I would recommend it for sure so the next item that I picked up is not nail related but it's travel related because you guys know I like to travel so let's get it out of this big bag here okay so I picked up some packing cubes you guys this is exciting okay I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out of this as well so yeah you guys I picked up some packing cubes right so when I travel I like to use packing cubes because it just keeps everything nice and organized and I think this came with like a set of like six so let's take a look see here and they feel pretty good yeah I'm excited let's see The zipper is really stiff on here. Well, I hope they all ain't like this. Yeah, I don't like that this zipper, it feels like I'm tearing the bag up. Like, what in the world? Uh, the zipper is horrible. Okay, let's just start there with that. But here are the rest of the pouches here. I hope the rest of them weren't like this. So this is a laundry pouch. I think this is awesome because you know when you guys are traveling and you get your dirty clothes and you're trying to like pack up for a trip and it's like, okay, you got your dirty clothes next to your clean clothes, you know. So this is perfect for when you travel. You know, you can put, you know, your dirty clothes in here. Then they got a second one. Oh, this is awesome. Maybe you could put, you know your delicates in here you know undies bra socks and then an even smaller one this is great um and you can put even smaller things in here so yeah i love this so if nothing else i'm loving this little three pack here so this is gonna be handy because like i said i never know what to do with my dirty clothes when i'm traveling so this is great to have it in and then these are the rest of the packing cubes y'all i'm really praying that the zipper on that first one was just that's just how that one went. okay yeah so the zipper on the first one is just messed up and that's sucks because I actually would like to use the big one but this here is the depth of the packing cube and they don't really need to be that deep um one thing that I like to do when I'm traveling is I'll separate out like shirts pants um and delicates and so in this little packing cube here maybe I fold up delicates and things like that and when I do pack my items I do roll everything and so you can fit a lot of items inside of this little bag here and then once you zip it up and close it you have so much more room so much more space and room in your bag so I really really love these and I actually I wanted to get some more of these too because I'm traveling with my daughter a lot more and I realized I don't have enough packing cubes for her too so I wanted to definitely make sure I got some for my little ones items when we travel and this is the uh the third size of the yeah i don't know what's up with that zipper oh my gosh that makes me so sad but okay but yeah this is how it's supposed to unzip and then again you can pack all your items in here um like i said it's best to roll your items when you're putting in something like this and then you'll zip it close and then you're good to go well, it's cool they got the little logo right here but yeah this is great um so it came with the big packing cube medium packing cube small packing cube and then it came with large laundry pouch medium laundry pouch small laundry pouch so this is a nice six piece set for when you guys are traveling i would highly recommend this but hopefully you would get one where the zipper isn't so tough oh actually okay look so the other zipper seems like it's a little bit easier to use okay so maybe it's just this zipper that's defective but if i just remember to only use this zipper when i'm traveling with it then i should be good to go so yeah this one's a lot easier to use so yeah i would recommend this for sure this is a really nice um affordable set i think this was only like four dollars maybe even six but i'm really really happy to have this so I picked this up. Last but not least, you guys, I picked up this item. Now this is this one was one of my bigger purchases from this particular haul, and this is a what is it called? It is a twenty. It's a foldable LED ring light studio box. So I got this studio box so that I could have 
a better way to take my nail photos, especially for my press-ons that I'm planning to hopefully at some point get on my website. <laughs> um, but yeah, this here, um, it's cool. It comes with 12 background colors, tw six papers, two colors, and two sides. And then it has like this little, it's a studio box, so it pops out and you can put the different um, inserts in there and then it has like a little ring light that lights up so I'm not actually going to unbox this in this video I am going to make a whole separate video to show you guys how to use this and how to set it up but I'm really excited to have it so yeah you guys this is everything that I got in this most recent Timu nail supply haul um my thoughts overall I'm pretty happy with all the items that I purchased um, I think my favorite thing that I got here was this ring this panel definitely this light studio and um, this book for my nail art I mean in this book to display my um, press on nails um, as well as this bling box so most of the items I'm pretty happy about um, the biggest disappointment was definitely the gel products that I bought in this video so this um, flower fairy gel I just would not recommend it as well as this eye method beauty it was supposed to be foil glue like you guys can see on the back it says foil glue but they gave me a base and top coat so um the gel products i was not happy with but all of the other products i'm very very satisfied with as well as this light here i couldn't fit it in the screen here but yeah timu is a great website to purchase a lot of different and unique products some things might be a hit some things might be a miss so you really it's just something you got to get on there and try but you know for the most part i do love everything that i got um they're very affordable very reasonably priced um i do have a discount code with them um for 30 percent off of their website so i I'm going to leave it here on the screen as well as in the description box below in case you guys do want to gander over to their website and purchase some things um so yeah let me know what you guys think about this this haul let me know if you all have tried some of their gel products and if you like them last haul i did i love their gel products this haul not so much so like i said i guess it's hit or miss and again i am going to do individual videos i'm going to show you guys this studio box more up close um i might make a video with me putting my um, press on nails on display in here um, I definitely want to show you guys how to use these pigment powders and then I'll be unboxing my bling box so yeah I hope you all enjoyed I do upload every Tuesday Thursday and Saturday if you all like what you saw here definitely stick around join the happy family I'd love to have you and as always you guys leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video I hope you all have a wonderful awesome spectacular day bye